folks, Marty Prep, president of BBIA and also local banker at Innovations Financial Credit Union. Today I'm here with Ann Roney with Mid South Lumber. She's going to let us know what they do. Hey, um, Mid South Lumber has been in business since 1981, and I've personally been here at Mid South Lumber for 26 years. And back wow. then, we only had working out of a little job site trailer with one truck and one forklift guy. So we've grown a lot, and today we support 45 families. Wow, wow, wow. What about when you say you support those families, what about the area you guys cover? Who can order from Mid South? Pretty much anybody within a 50 mile distance, um, within a 100 mile radius of Mid South Lumber. So Bay County, Washington, Walton. Um, all those counties. Uh, but you, pro you probably say nice and busy with all the construction we have going on in our area. One of the fastest growing areas in the nation, Northwest Florida. I bet you guys stay good and busy. Yeah, we do. Well, what happens outside that door? What if I wanted to build something? I had a project and, and I called you guys and said, hey, I've got plans. I got a blueprint. Can you guys help me out and do that? We can do all your, your blueprint takeoffs, or you can just hand me a list on a napkin because we get that a lot too. So, But I have an order right now for a child's playhouse. So, Ooh, Child's playhouse, I like that. Maybe it, you could help us with that one. Let's go. I want to see it. All right. Let's do it. Folks, I was so fired up when I heard we were going to build a playhouse. I jumped up and left Ann sitting at her desk. So she finally caught up with me. Here we are. And what I understand is we're going to put together the package now of the items we need to build this playhouse. Is that correct? Yep. I've been doing the framing takeoff for the little bit of material that we need to build this playhouse. Um, I've quoted them windows and doors and all kinds of things at the end of this material list. They should be able to get it on site and build a little playhouse for Christmas. Let's go. I'm ready. Now, so what do I need to show the folks back here? We're going to take this green ticket um, out to David, the hardware puller. David's been here for 25 years. He's going to be an expert in his area. Awesome. Well, let me ask you this. We're building a playhouse, but what if I, what if I had plans for a an entire house or, or whatever. Can, can you do that here also? We can do takeoffs on any set of plans that you have. I've done four story, 8,000 square foot plans. Folks, Windows, they can do doors. everything here. If it's four stories or if it's a one story playhouse from my backyard, they can get it done right here at Mid South Lumber. All right, well, let's go out here and see how David. it works. Yeah, let's go. Folks, on the way out here to meet David, I noticed this sign that says no material to anyone, and I'm anyone, without a green ticket, no exceptions. Well, I'm ready for a playhouse, and I got my green ticket. So let's go meet David. Come on. <laughs> All right, Tammy. This is David. He's this our is hardware David. guy. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Tammy. Appreciate it. Well, David, how long have you been with the company? I've been with Mid-South now for 25 years. 25 years. Yes. So you, Yeah, so you're definitely a part of this community. That's awesome. Yes. Well, listen, they gave me a green ticket and said, we're going to build a playhouse, and they said, take it to you. So okay. tell me what you do when you're when you're handed a delivery ticket. Well, first off, I'll make sure that, you know, it's got a current date on it, of course, and then I just go do my thing and pull the loads. Perfect. Well, show me what you do. All right. Well, we need a uh, box of plywood clips. I'll take and I'll put it in this buggy. So you've got a buggy. But basically, you're back here putting this whole thing together. Yeah, I, uh, I stock all this stuff. I order it. I give it to Doug Hartog, who's been here for 21 years. Wow. And uh, I get with him, and we order this stuff in. And wow. Get it in for uh, the customers, and I, I pull hardware for deliveries. Um, pull hardware for customers, and basically stock just about everything out here. So, folks, if you've got something at home that was built, a home that was built by Mid-South Lumber or anything else, most likely, this guy's hands were on everything that's a part of your home. Yeah. So I see that you're pulling all this stuff. Now, is this what you do? You do this all day long? I mean, you're all the man for this department. All day long. Perfect, yes. perfect. Uh, I have delivered building material over the years. Uh, I've been in sales, so I've worn just about every hat here in the Well, now, let me, let, me, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. You go through this whole process, you get everything put in this buggy, pull everything, where do we go next? If once I get all my, my goods here. You'll go out to the yard uh, and see the fine folks out there and they'll load you up and get you going. Now, when, I, when you say yard, is there anything out there I can drive? Oh, uh, man, you could get in all kinds of trouble out there. <sighs> Listen, I got my green ticket. Uh, is there another sign anywhere that says you can drive a forklift or anything you want to do if you got a green ticket? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what we can do. 
Okay. I'm going to go out to the yard and, and let's see if we can put this thing together. Okay. All right, now we're out here on the yard. I've got my green ticket. They told me I could come out and drive a forklift even if I had this green ticket. But safety is everything at Mid-South Lumber. So they've hooked me up with Mark, who is the certified forklift trainer. Is that right, Mark? That's correct. All right, tell me what I'm going to be doing here. Well, what we're going to do is learn how to drive this forklift safely. Safely, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, tell me what to do. Well, come on, let's get on. All right. What a ride. I've survived. Got this forklift over here in place. I've got my green ticket. I'm out here with Kaz, who works out here in the yard and gets all this lumber uh, put together, gets it on the truck for our playhouse. So from what I understand, we need 25, according to my green ticket, we need 25 pieces of yellow pine 2x4. Kaz, is that right? Yes, sir. All right. But tell you, you what. Here we go. Listen, a hit, it wasn't 24, it was 25. I'm a banker, you'd think I'd get that right, but hey, it is what it is. So now, if you don't mind, I gotta get over to Trim so they can show me what goes on in there. Do you mind loading up the rest of the stuff according to this little green ticket right here and getting it on the truck so I can get on that truck and drive it to the site? Yes, sir. All right, appreciate you, my friend. I'll see y'all at Trim. We've been all over this yard building a playhouse. And, and I've seen everything from putting the order together, um, pulling all the hardware, getting it outside, getting the forklift in place, which they let me do, getting all the lumber now is being loaded on the truck. But if I think about it, I gotta have some trim for this playhouse. And everybody says, listen, if you want trim for a house, you want uh, trim for the playhouse, you gotta go see Tom. So folks, I have found Tom. This is Tom. And Tom, tell me a little bit about what you do in this room right here. Well, Mr. Blue, we sell the most of is flat stock, uh, one by sixes, fours, twos, and eights. But we also have uh, crown molding, door casing, and and baseboards. Gotcha, gotcha. So that. basically, so any any type of trim work that I need for a large project, a six thousand square foot house, it could be for a commercial building or Marty's little playhouse here. You could you can furnish it from this room right yes, here. Yes, we have an extensive selection of trim. Wow. What about just not stock stuff? What can you uh, do special order? Yes, we do special orders, and they show up r rather rapidly, about two days. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, I've been looking over this list, and I do see the trim, but. Yes. I'm, I'm, I seem to be missing a door. I need a door for my playhouse. Can you guys take care of that here? Yeah, right through this door. We yep. have the door shop. Perfect. Well, let's go. Let's go build a door. Hey, Mr. Marty, how All you right, doing? All right, my friend. Listen, they hey. told me over here that this is the door shop. Is it that is. right? It I, is. I need a door for my playhouse. Can oh. you hook me up? Yes, sir. The first thing I need you to do is put on them safety goggles right there. Oh, all right. It's yes, all sir. about safety. These right. right here. Let's see. Let me get these things on. Because they said we just don't pull a, a, a door off the shelf, but we're going to build one. That's Is that right. right? That's right. right. I went upstairs and grabbed this door. Perfect. All right. So All right. Give me an idea of what we're doing here. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the hinges on this door. So we're going to put this router. It's called a router. Yep. We're going to turn this, turn this router on. And then we're going to go in a motion just like this, come back, and then go back and forth. I look in there, and that's completely done. Wow. Now, we're going to take this over here, and you're going to do this thing. Perfect. So grab the router right here at the bottom. At the bottom. Yep. There you go. Put it in that little gap right there, and now you do the same thing I did. Oh, there folks, you go. Here we are. Perfect. I appreciate it, Stan. Josh, tell me what you got, my friend. We got our jam spaced out at three and a half inch hinge. Okay. So we're gonna start looking to put them on. All right. Yep. So we're we're building the, the jam now, right? Yes, sir. There you go. Now listen, uh, show me what to do here. This way? When you when you're putting these on, you always want to connect them to the door first. Alright, the door first, okay? Yes, sir. Put it in like that. Go ahead and pop your first screw in. All right. Oh, oh 
12, folks. He goes in, and let's see if we... There we go. That's that. Go ahead and attach it right here. So, so one screw in the bottom, then we're going to attach it in the, middle, in the middle one? Yes, sir. All right. All right there? Yep. Right it. Gotcha. All right. All right. Time for the next. So now we're going to do just one screw in each one all the way down to go ahead and get it attached? Yes, sir. All right. That way we can kind of adjust in case we need to adjust the head and anything like that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on. Yeah, yours went a little bit smoother than mine, but you've probably been doing this a little bit longer than me. Uh, about, eight <laughs> about eight years. That's awesome. I can't believe y'all build your own doors here at Mid South. I really don't like these screws. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Got to get it nice and snug in there so it fits just right. I got it. All right, tell you what, I'm going to do this last one, and then the moment I finish this last one, what we're gonna do is, I tell you what, oh, need a hinge. Yes, sir. I'm gonna finish this last one, and if you don't mind, if you'll finish this door up, because, let's see. Folks, I got the hang of this. I'm ready to drive a forklift again. I'm ready to go. This is, uh, let's see, man. Oh, smooth, that's perfect, that's perfect. All right, so you, so if you don't mind, if you'll finish this up, and if you don't, get, get this on the truck, because my question is, is, once we get the door on the truck, how in the world do I get this to the site? Well, Mark. If you Mark. Get your ticket and go see our dispatcher, Mark. He'll, uh, he'll set you up. Perfect. All right. Well, I, on the truck for perfect. You. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to have you finish that up, and I'm going to go see Mark and dispatch and get all this stuff to the, to the uh, delivery site. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. No, awesome. No Stan, you. appreciate it, my friend. Yes, sir. I'm going to see Mark. Just finished making the door. They told me to go see Mark over at Dispatch, and that's where I'm at right now. Folks, if you've ever seen the movie The Wizard of Oz, you know when you took a peek behind that curtain and you saw the wizard back there, well, that's Mark. That's his new nickname here at Mid-South Lumber is The Wizard because that's what he's doing behind the scenes. He is making sure everything is happening when it comes to these deliveries. Mark, tell the folks a little bit about what you do back here. Well, I have to coordinate deliveries between 10 trucks wow. every day. Wow. So all deliveries come in, they make their way to your board, and you're telling drivers where to go, and, and, and they to go. gotcha, after it's put on the truck. Well, I tell you what, I am ready to go build a playhouse, I, and I think you've got everything loaded on the truck already. We're ready to go. Where's that truck at, and how do I get going? Okay, Marty, what you want to do, because I know you're ready to get out of here. I need you to take your iPad with you. My iPad? And what, now, what's the, what, why is this so important? Well, it has GPS on there, so you, you know where you're going. GPS. Don't ask me to spell that, folks. I can't do it. Go and ahead. And also, you can take pictures with this. It, it is the proof of delivery. Wow, I love it. So I've got my I got my, my GPS. I got my iPad ready. I've got my green ticket that Miss Ann said I got to have. My truck is loaded, and I'm ready to build a playhouse. Thank you so much for showing me. Folks, let's go build a playhouse. All right, I gotta, I gotta make my Marty, delivery. Marty, it's over here. It's ready. Oh, I'm ready. All right, here we go. I'm ready, ready. Man, I'm ready for my playhouse. Man, look at this truck's already loaded up, ready to go. Safety first, folks. You gotta wear your seatbelt. I had to wear it on the forklift. I had to wear my goggles. It's all about safety. All right, let's see. Fire this baby up. Well, I said fire it up. Let's fire it up. There it is. I'm there. Tell you what. And I'll see you back in the office after I make this delivery. It's time to build a playhouse. Bye. Two words, war out. This woman's had me build playhouses. I have built doors. I have delivered the package, and she told me, Marty, I love you, but you better go back to banking because you're fired. You're not delivering my delivery truck anymore, driving the delivery truck anymore. So, but I've had a fantastic day here at Mid-South Lumber, um, just seeing all the cool things you guys do. But on a serious note, tell me about your relationship with BBIA and how uh, that brings value to your organization. Well, Mid-South Lumber has been a member of BBIA for as long as I can remember. And um, what started out as a small group of contractors and bankers and stuff, 
it has grown tremendously over the past years and we really get a lot of value out of it because we build relationships with business partners and customers and it's helped us grow so much over the past several years that we've been able to you know give back to the community um, mm -hmm. with with donations and advertising and things like this and we also do a lot of extra stuff with our employees because we're one big family wow and you know you mentioned the word donations there and one thing I can think of is the doors you guys saw us build doors over there, and one thing I'd like to say thank you with is our scholarship home. Every single year, we build a scholarship home that pumps money after we sell that home back into uh, uh, the local community in the form of scholarships to high school seniors that are going to go, go into the construction trade. Well, the doors to the most... All those homes I can remember since I've been a part of BBI, those doors came right here from this, this lumber yard. So I want to say thank you for that. But thank you for being part of the community. Thank you uh, for letting us know what you do. And folks, it's so important. It's about community. It's so important about uh, learning about what the community does. And today, we've learned what they do. Thank you. Thank you.